Is this a surprise? A very big one. Uh, I can't tell you how much of a surprise it was. Uh, right there, as you guys heard it, I heard it the same way. Did, could you feel it coming? Did it feel like it was the right no. time? No, not at all. Uh, I was I was thinking I was going to slip, slip and fall a little bit. Um, and I'm just happy, happy that it happened, happy that the Rockets were leaving me. Um, you know, even though all the, the press out there about me and the uh, so-called baggage that I bring, my organization took a chance on the day and that's it about, you know, human beings. Being a Minnesota kid, I, what does it mean to it means the world. I mean, Kevin's a legend. I mean, his own right as a player and he did great things in, in Minnesota. And he's always been a high character kind of guy. And, and, you know, he's a legend. And, and the moves that you practice every day as a post player you know, were invented by him. And uh, I'm just excited to be able to go play for him and learn as much as possible and, and try to be the best player I can do for this organization. What, yes. is it, what does it mean that uh, Coach Orberg has a, such a great relationship with him to keep an eye on you and, and keep in touch with you? Uh, it means everything. Uh, Coach Orberg, again, is another high character guy and has value in that league, um, obviously. Um, and, and the connection between those two, I'm sure, did wonders for, for what happened for me tonight. And, and it's like I'm fan. You talked about, you talked about um, the Rockets taking a chance on you. What about Fred taking a chance on you, too? Uh, it, it, even more so. I mean, uh, you know, the Rockets took a chance on me, and, but I have proven over the last two years that, that my character is, is not an issue in a sense. Uh, but, you know, Coach Weber took a chance on me when all I had out there was red flags. And, uh, you know, for, for that, I'm eternally grateful to Tim. Why'd you want to hold this here tonight? You're going to pinch anyone. Anyway. This is family. Um, you know, right now, I've been here for two years. Uh, these people in this gym right now, uh, along with Cycle Nation, and and a number of other people helped me get to this point. And they, uh, they gave me the courage, they gave me the confidence. What's the last couple of months been like flying around? Anxious. It's been anxious. It's been anxious. Um, it's a tough process for somebody who suffers from the disorder that I do. Um, but, you know, I, I, I man through it and I fall through it uh, with the help of Coach Goldberg and my agents. And, did you work out for Houston? You did, didn't you? No, never yeah, you did not. Year. Is that what no, you No, I didn't have a support schedule. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Uh, I did. I, I might have one schedule. You didn't work out for them. And I, I was injured. Yeah, I was injured. Chris, can you talk about the emotions that you cycled through tonight? You know, a lot of surprises, a lot of different things uh, going on. To be honest, I was having an hour and 45 minute panic attack up there. <laughs> uh, that's just as honest as I can be. Uh, when my name was called, and it, 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 the feeling was similar to when the wheels touched down in the city at that airport. You know, it was, it was all great. Um, the only difference was that the emotion swelled from you know, 21 years of, of trying to get here and, and the people here that, that laid down their lives in order for me to be able to make it. Kevin texted Fred that when they were fortunate that they were going to take you to pick. You wish you would have told me you could have solved the anxiety right then and there? Yeah, I wish you would have told me, but, you know, the coach is uh, superstitious like that. You know? um, so, you know, I think you probably didn't want to jinx it. You know, nobody really wanted to jinx it. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just happy that he was able to use his influence uh, with the lead you know, to get him to be able to believe in me. And, and once again, I, I credit it all to him because he stabbed me when he didn't have to. And, uh, you know, they're taking his word for it right now. Bruce, have you had a chance to talk with anybody with the Rockets yet? Or? No, not yet. I'm still waiting for, for a couple of calls from uh, their organization. Uh, like I said, I, 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 they didn't call me, you know, five minutes before like it usually happens. Uh, you know, I, could, I was up there watching and you could kind of see uh, Andre Drummond tearing up when the ninth pick was still on the board because he already got the call probably. It had to happen that way for me. So I'm still waiting to hear Kevin McHale's voice and say, yeah, it's real. It's real. You're coming here. And so... But uh, it, it's, it's a surreal moment for me. What do you think it's going to be like to play in the NBA? I mean, against guys you probably grew up watching, like, I mean, Kevin Garnett, guys like that. Uh, it's going to be, you know, a blessing. Um, very powerful uh, for me. I'm, I'm a very emotional guy when it comes to uh, big moments, big hurdles in life. And the first time I stepped on Iowa State court, and my emotions swelled. Um, and just because the obstacles I had to face. And I'm sure the same thing happened when I stepped on the court with each one of those legends that I've watched all these years. Has it sunk in yet that you're going to Houston? What do you think of the town of Houston? Uh, I think it's a great city. Uh, like I said, I, I've only heard great things about Houston. I've been there a couple of times. I played in the Kingwood Classic in high school. Um, 
and, and I've been to Texas a number of times in this last season, seeing how we had you know, three, four, three, four opponents there. So uh, I'm sure Houston is a great city. I'm excited to get there and learn it and, and find out what's, what's going on there. What was that? Warmer than Iowa? Warm, oh yeah, a lot warmer. <laughs> yeah, a lot warmer. How much glory and personal personal gain you get from tonight. What is the example that you set for your teammates by saying, you know, you can come here, win, and achieve success like this? Well, you know, you know, for me, to be honest, the glory is not mine tonight. Um, the glory is, is this community, uh, the community I come from in, in Minnesota, and uh, the mental illness community. You know, over the last two years, they motivated me and inspired me, and, and, and they put me here, you know, basically. So, you know, tonight is, is glory for them, and not so much for me.